Recently, I have had multiple reels go viral on Instagram, and today I'm gonna share some tips and tricks that you can start implementing today to start getting traction on your page. So if you're trying to figure out how to blow up on Instagram reels, you came to the right video. Even though the algorithm is always changing, this is what's going to help you grow on Instagram in 2024. I'm gonna show you exactly what I've done to get success so quickly. As you can see on the screen, one of my videos got 1.9 million views, this one got 2.5 million views, this one got almost 500,000 views, and this one has over 700,000 views. Not all of my videos have gone viral, but the ones that did got me from around 300 followers to over 190,000 followers in just a matter of months. So whether you're trying to work with brands, get clients, or sell your own digital products, growing a following on Instagram can be one of the best ways to start making income online. So what I have been doing is focusing on posting Instagram Reels. The benefit of posting Instagram Reels is that they get pushed out by the algorithm to people who do not follow you. So the first tip that I can give you is to focus on posting Instagram Reels. You could have regular posts in between Reels if you really want to post pictures and things like that, but your focus should be on posting Instagram Reels because that's what's going to help you grow on the platform. The second tip is very obvious, but you need to be consistent with posting. At the very minimum, try to post at least four times per week. Posting once per day is going to give you the best results since that's what I did to grow my account so quickly. You're not gonna get any traction if you don't post. Consistency is very important in order to grow. I know it can be very hard when you put a lot of effort into a video and then whenever you post it, it flops. But once you start putting out content to Instagram, you're going to start to learn what works best for your account, which I'm gonna get to later in this video. Never delete anything that you have posted on the platform because you never know if that video is going to get traction later on. I have had videos that flop whenever I post them, but then a few weeks later they start to get traction and then go viral. It's very important to keep all of your content on Instagram and never delete anything. My third tip is to use hashtags. I notice that whenever I post and add hashtags to my Instagram reels, they tend to perform better. I know this is a very controversial topic because I have seen creators who say that hashtags no longer work and I also have seen other creators who claim that hashtags still work. Again, I'm sharing what has worked best for me, so my tip and my advice is to post with and without hashtags. In my opinion, hashtags can be very useful, especially if you're a small account because it helps the algorithm understand what your content is about in order to know who to show your content to. If the algorithm shows your content to the wrong people, chances are that they're just gonna scroll past your content because they're not interested, but if the algorithm shows your content to the right people, chances are that they're going to consume your content and you're going to get higher watch time. Going back to the hashtags, I usually do three to seven hashtags and I use too many of them to avoid confusing the algorithm. What I like to do is that I put my hashtags at the very bottom of my caption. Something really important is to use hashtags that are related to your niche. My fourth tip is to use training audio. By using training audio, you are leveraging its virality and it can help your Instagram reel get a boost. The rule of thumb is to use training audio that has less than 10k uses. Go to the training sounds and see if the top row has more than one million views. If other creators have had successful reels with that sound, then that means that your reel has high chances to do well using that audio. My fifth tip is to engage with people who comment on your reels. I have noticed that whenever I reply to comments on my reels, my videos keep getting more and more views. Don't be the person that never engages with anyone. Reply to people who comment on your content. A little trick is to engage with people within your niche. So what I would do is go to my reels tab and search for content related to my niche and what I would do is to leave a nice comment. You never know who's gonna come across your comment and check out your profile. This is something you can do to boost your engagement in the app and can help you be found by people who are interested in your content. And my last tip is to figure out what works best for your account. Once you have an Instagram reel do well, recreate more videos like that one. After I had my first viral video, the videos that I posted after that viral video didn't do very well. What I started doing is recreating videos similar to the one that went viral. My advice is to test different types of reels and once you find one that does well for your account, keep creating videos like that one. A little bonus tip is to always record your day-to-day -day basis. What I mean is to record yourself while you're reading, while you're at the gym, while you're cooking. This is a super simple way 
great to always have footage for your Instagram Reels. You can always reuse footage that you already have used in the past from your camera roll, but there's no such thing as having too much footage in your camera roll ready to use. So if you want to learn how I find the best video ideas to create for my Instagram page, how to find the best training audios, how I edit my Reels, how I structure my captions for more engagement, and all my best secrets to explore your Instagram Reels, I actually created a course that teaches you the same formula that I use to get my Instagram Reels to go viral over and over again. It's called the Viral Reels Formula and you can get access to it for completely free with the first link in the description below. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment if you need help with your Instagram Reels. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.